In this tutorial we're going to use Adobe Illustrator and the pen tool to draw straight lines, shapes and curved lines. So having a look at your desktop you might want to have your navigator window open and if you have a look over here you, because we're drawing lines you don't require any fill. So if you click on the fill button and put the red slash through it by choosing the small box, now you're just going to have a black line with no fill and that's what we require. Now we need to find the pen tool which is hiding under here. Click onto it and you'll notice if you hold the left button, left mouse button in and you drag right across to this little slip, you can actually tear it off try again. Tear it off onto the desktop. Third time lucky. Put it in a, de in a spot on your desktop so that it's convenient for you to work with. Now to draw a straight line you choose the pen tool and simply click onto your uh, page and click in a second location and you've automatically created a straight line. If, you've, if that's what you require, choose the selection arrow and click on the desktop and your line is complete. Let's try some more. If you use the pen tool again and you click in a number of spots, you can see the line continues at random. To enclose this to make it a shape, you can see the little O appear and that means you're going to be able to enclose the shape. If you're happy with that, black selection tool, click on the desktop and you have your shape. Now you might find that these lines are too thin so you would select um, the item and you can see in the top um, here you've got an area where it says stroke and the size of the stroke. So use the little arrow and the stroke weight can be changed by choosing any one of these points. You can see that that's a bit thicker now, so you, you can choose the stroke weight. Now to do um, a different shape, if you notice by clicking, choosing the pen tool again, clicking on the desktop, but this time holding the shift key in before you begin, you'll notice that the shape defaults, the lines default to the nearest 45 degrees. That might be a handy tool to be aware of. Click the selection tool on the desktop and your shape's complete. To draw curved lines, choose the pen tool and just like you did for the first one, click on the desktop but with the second point when you click hold the left mouse button in and drag it. You can um, put this any way you want and get the curve that you desire. When you're happy with it, click on the left selection tool and then on the desktop and there's your curve. So we'll just do another one. Hold the left mouse button in on that second click and drag it. Let go black um, arrow and then click on the desktop. Now to create an S shape, choose the pen tool, click and let's create a straight line by holding the shift in so it's absolutely vertical. And then if you go to the second uh, little pen tool, it's adding an anchor point with this one. So it's a pen tool with a little um, positive sign next to it. You, you can simply choose that and let's in the middle of the line put a new, new point. So I've just clicked with the left mouse button. Then using this tool, convert the anchor point tool, choose that tool and on that curve hold the left mouse button in and drag to create the S. In this case, let's say we're happy with that, you click on the left selection tool onto the desktop and if you wanted to, you could move it. If you want to rotate the S, simply hover above it until you get that right 
um, little arrow with uh, that's curved. Hold it in, rotate, and you can move your S around to the way you want it. Now lastly, to draw a heart shape, choose the pen tool and draw a triangle. Enclose it so it's a triangle. Add an anchor point using that second little um, tool. Click in the middle. If you miss the line, this is the message that you'll get up. So try it again. And then convert the anchor point tool on the outer um, parts of your triangle by holding in the left mouse button and then manipulating that line to change it into a curve. In this case we're aiming for a heart so on the other outer point as well we're going to convert that anchor point to be a rounded shape. Once you're happy with it click with the left um, the left arrow selection tool and onto the desktop and there is your heart. There's some things for you to try. Thank you.